I, w- I watched um, uh, it as the WWF before when I was a kid. Uh, my brother was massively in it. Um, so I was aware of it, yeah, totally. Um, uh, but I'm now just a massive fan of the WAW that Zach runs. Of course. Um, how much research did you do? Did you get to see, meet the real Zach at all? Yeah, met him a bunch of times, met the whole family a bunch of times, and they're just the most incredible family. Unbelievably generous with their time, and um, obviously, it, I mean, it must be bizarre having a film made about your entire family. So, um, no, they were they were fantastic, and Zach himself was great. Zach showed me around the WAW around Norwich and stuff, and um, he was in it. He's in the film, a tiny little cameo. So yeah, no, it it was it was great to spend time with him. Now, Zach has a huge heart, I think. Mm. Um, he helps other people in the community by teaching them how to wrestle. Um, what aspects of him did you relate to most? The community thing. I've, al- I've always been a big believer in, you know, the, the, it's always great to be sort of aware and passionate about massive global issues and stuff, and we're very good at doing that now. But I think that it can sometimes mean that we run away from our community and immediately around us and you can almost make more of a difference quicker by focusing on on the immediate vicinity in in your community and I think he does that and the impact that that organisation has in Norwich is phenomenal Uh, you know and for people as well that I think kids and adults that maybe feel like they were um, sidelined through their childhood or through school or um, you know, that they, they didn't take up, you know, football or rugby. It's something completely different. And, um, you know, wrestling's also something that's been sort of, you know, it was huge here, I think, in, like, the 80s. It was on TV, 70s and 80s. It was huge. And then it disappeared and went and was in America. Um, so what, what he and the rest of the Knight family are doing in Norwich is so important, really, and now wrestling's a very technical sport and some of those moves looked absolutely terrifying. Um, how challenging was the training for you? Uh, yeah, it was, cha- it was challenging, um, but it was probably the, the best part. It was a lot, it was a lot of, I had to get a lot bigger physically for the role. That was harder than the, the actual wrestling itself because of, but not because of the physical stuff, just the eating that was involved was nuts. Um, didn't eat a lot of nuts actually, it was just, um, it was incredible, but the um, wrestling itself, we went over to Florida and we were in the WWE training facility and so there was Florence and I running about in a ring, you know, trying to trying to get the r- rudimentals of, of, of grasps and things like that and then in another ring there's genuine WWE superstars smacking each other about a ring, you know, and we're going, is this right? <laughs> but... Um, that was amazing, you know, and they have such, they're so well looked after. And they're, 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 I mean, they are athletes, but they're, they're looked after and run like, you know, the top professional athletes, like their conditioning and stuff. It's amazing. And what did you admire about writer-director Stephen Merchant's passion for the project? Um, it, I, I'm a massive fan of Steve. Steve's one of my heroes and Steve's, Steve's, um, Steve's views on the world and, and, um, his taste and his comedy is me. Like my 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 comedy, what I watch and what I find funny is because of Steve Merchant. Um, the things that me and my friends stand about and quote Steve wrote. You know, it's a, a large part of me is is Steve in a way. And so to do this project was was an honour and kind of freaky in a way because he's he's one of my heroes. Um, but um, he has. A, He's also, which isn't, obviously he's an amazing writer, which is what he's kind of known for and, and director. But Steve's a brilliant actor, like g- genuinely, technically gifted. And so sometimes on set, like if I was struggling with what to do with a certain moment, Steve would just do it and I'd go, oh yeah, I'll just do that. Because he's such a good actor. It's a, it, was, it was just, it's one of my favourite experiences of filming because to have an actor behind the camera like that it's just a very quick, you know, a shorthand who would literally just do it for you. It was great. Now, we have to talk about the scene where your character meets Dwayne The Rock Johnson yeah. for the first time. Um, what was it like having a dressing down from him in full rock mode? I think it was probably it was, uh, probably quite scary for him. And scarier for him, you know, 
probably Florence and I were quite intimidating to dress down, I imagine. Um, but, you know, I think he got over it quite quickly and ploughed through because he's a professional. Um, no, he was... Um, he's a, just a total gent, the man. And um, not as tall as I thought. But, no, he, he, he's an absolute gent and an unbelievably... He's a, he's a professional. Like, his, his work ethic's incredible and um, very positive on set. Um, and it was amazing, you know, because I, I did grow up a little bit outside of the whole <clears throat> wrestling world and WWE. And when my friends saw that scene or heard about that, they, they couldn't quite believe that I got the honour of being dressed down by The Rock. Um, and it was incredible. Uh, th now, the relationship between Zach and Paige is a fundamental part of the story. Mm. Um, how much bonding time outside of training did you have with Florence to create that kind of family dynamic? Uh, yeah, I mean, quite a bit. I mean, we were together for a while before we turned over uh, with the training and stuff like that. Um, and um, she's she's very easy to get on on with straight away and we do actually have a sort of brother sister relationship anytime I see her I want to hit her and I think she feels the same there's just we just want to hit one another and um because we saw each other last night here when we both arrived and instantly I think she smacked me in the arm so it's it's sort of yeah I, I don't know why <laughs> um how was having Nick Frost and Lena Headey as your on-screen parents they seem like they're right laugh to film with yeah they are they really really are and both unbelievably talented and um it's nick, nick in particular was just um it was great to work with nick but it was also sort of terrifying at the same time because of you just never knew what was going to come out in nick's mouth and in what way um but to watch them both work and, and Le lena's just brilliant you know and it's such a departure for lena as well you know for what what we all know her for and it just shows what a brilliant actress that she, that she is but to have them as your mum and dad was great yeah um and i believe you shot in pages hometown in norwich as well mm -hmm. um how much did you enjoy filming there great yeah um it's not somewhere i've been before but um it was great, and uh, I mean, we did some shooting there. We also shot way out on the Angli East Anglian coast. I think a seaside town out there. Um, it was it was really great, and we shot on. I mean, there's a scene I think where we run, me and her are running. We have a conversation on a bench. That was all in Norwich. It was great in the covered market, famous covered market in Norwich. Um, no, it was, it's always great to actually get to be somewhere where it's set. And Jack, finally, uh, if you were a WWE superstar mm -hmm. what would your wrestling name be and your signature move be so my wrestling name would be rump steak it's a name that i've i've been called before <laughs> um but it would definitely be rump steak and i think my finishing move would be something extremely simple like a backhand across their face you know after all the mayhem and the jumping around and stuff i think the best way to confuse an opponent would be to just backhand slap them. Not hard, just backhand, and then just stare at them and walk away. Um, I think it's something that's undiscovered in the WWE. I, re I really think, and if anybody wants to take it, fine, we can talk, but I, 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 th I think it's the key to winning a match. I really do. What do you do after someone just goes... So yeah, that would be Rump Steak's move. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching... Hey, you guys! Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys, Is that yeah. from the Goonies? Indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey! hey.